Paleoanthropological evidence from various scientific fields indicates that Neanderthals exhibited modern cognitive capacity. The archaeological signatures uh, among Neanderthal uh, remains are stunning uh, and indicate just this kind of modern cognitive capacity that is characteristic of, uh, of us, in effect. If you're not familiar with this, I want to just mention three especially remarkable archaeological signatures. One would be the Schrödinger spears uh, discovered in um, an open pit coal mine in Germany. These wooden spears are seven to eight feet long. They are carefully sculpted so that the bulk of the weight of the spear is in the first one third of the spear to assist with throwing. It tapers off toward the butt so that it is thinner at the butt and heavier uh, on the head. Scientists made replicas of these spears and, and gave them, tested them with German Olympic javelin throwers. And it was found that these spears compared well with modern Olympic javelins even though the athletes had never trained with these ancient wooden spears in terms of their distance, in terms of their accuracy, and in terms of the depth of their penetration in the target. These spears were dated to between 300 and 400,000 years ago, long before Homo sapiens uh, was on the scene. Um, so that the province of these spears, which were apparently used in big game hunting. They were found with the remains of a herd of horses uh, that had been driven into a lakeside by the hunters and then uh, slaughtered. The, the activity of big game hunting of herd animals is also indicative of collaborative behavior that probably required linguistic communication among the hunters. A second Notable archaeological signature uh, are the constructions in Brunichel Cave in France. In this cave, which has been closed since the Pleistocene until it was opened in the 1990s, they discovered about 330 meters deep into the cave in total darkness these strange ring-like constructions made out of stalagmites that were cut to specific lengths, about 30 centimeters long, and then stacked on top of each other in these rings with vertical posts driven to support the structures. Um, nobody knows what these things were for, what purpose they served. There were fires all about, or the remains of fires, some of them on these stalagmite rings, um, and they were apparently unfinished. Um, these have been dated to around 176,000 years ago, again, long before Homo sapiens ever arrived in Europe. The excavator, Jacques Joubert, says that in order to build these, we are talking about persons who had a, a society that had to have communication, planning, uh, strategy, coordination, bringing in the fire, uh, assembling the stalagmites, cutting them, uh, putting them together. Uh, he says this is uh, indicative of, again, persons with linguistic ability. The final archaeological signature that I want to mention was just discovered in 2020. It was a piece of Neanderthal twine. It was made from the inner bark of a gypsum tree, and these fibers were then twisted clockwise, and then they were surrounded by other fibers twisted counterclockwise to make a three-ply cord. And the archaeologists, again, investigating this, said this kind of um, construction of the uh, reverse twisting and making a three-ply cord is indicative of mathematical ability, which would be on the same level, they say, as linguistic ability in these persons. 
So these and many other signatures, I think, go to indicate that uh, Neanderthals had um, fully modern cognitive capacity um, and therefore exhibited these human traits. These were not animals. These were not beasts that, that did this.